Lush have made all my dreams come true. This product just isn't for me. I'm gonna need that in a bucket. The next product, you guys are not ready for it. Instantly looking at it, I just absolutely hate it. I don't understand it. I don't really feel the need to want to use it. It wouldn't be the Lush Easter range if we didn't have this product. I do think that price has gone up. This product just looks weird. So I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be doing something which I honestly cannot quite believe we are diving into already at this point in the year. And that is the Lush Easter spoilers for 2024. As always, thank you so much to Lush.Sense on Instagram. This is where I get all of my kind of photos and information. They are just really great at kind of giving it to me as early as possible. So thank you guys so, so much. That is everything. Without further ado, we are going to dive right into the Lush Easter the spoilers of 2024. I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching. So the first item we have in the Easter range is the Follow the White Rabbit bath bomb which is carrot scented. This is a repeat from last year. I'm pretty sure I've had one a couple years now. I really do enjoy this product. It is very very nice and price wise this one is going to be £4.50 and it's bergamot, buchu and lemon scented. So absolutely delicious. I would highly recommend it. The next item I would look away if you have any sort of fear or any issues with things with holes in it because this is the bunny moon bath bomb and this product just looks weird. I think the whole idea of it is really really lovely like a blue bath bomb with a pink center and it's like a sleeping little rabbit but it's the holes I just don't really understand the concept of the holes in it. I mean when it fizzes I'm sure it will look absolutely beautiful but the holes are really just like shall I say holes one more time? Anyway they just really make me feel uncomfortable. Price wise this one is going to be seven pounds and it's lime, benzoin and carob scented which is very interesting. I don't know what carob is so I'm excited to give that one a smell. Then we have the hot cross bunny bubble bar. This this one is gingerbread house scented. It looks so adorably cute and angry. I feel like I definitely need to get one of these. And the fact it's gingerbread house scented just sounds absolutely delicious. So ingredients wise in this one, we have got ginger, lemon, buchu and cinnamon, and it's gonna be five pounds. Next up is a repeat from last year, and that is the rainbow carrot reusable bubble bars. Again, these ones are carrot scented. Carrot is basically like a very fresh, clean smell. It doesn't smell like carrots, but it does smell really, really good. Good. and we did have these last year although I believe we had more than four I feel like we definitely had five or six last year but this year we have an orange one a blue one a pink one and a yellow one and these are £3.50 each I do think that price has gone up I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna have to look back on my old video from last year to see how much those retailed for because I feel like they were like £2 but I might be wrong and ingredients again this is bergamot buchu and lemon so I'm very excited to give those ones a try as well then we have another bath bomb this is the cheap cheap bath bomb which is a cute little chicken really really cute ingredients wise in this one it's bergamot lime and violet this is what's up doc scented and again £3.50 a nice kind of affordable price for a bath bomb if you want something that's not too complex and not too heavy that might be a really good blah, 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 blah. I cannot get my words out it might be a really good one to go for is what I was trying to say. The next item is something which I'm not gonna lie, I cannot quite understand how this is Easter themed, but this is the Alien Bunny Bath Bomb, which is Sexy Peel scented. Now, Sexy Peel fragrance as a bath bomb, that's very, very interesting to me. I do love the bunny aspect. I just don't get the alien aspect, like how that relates to Easter, unless it's just something fun for children, which it probably is. But this one is gonna be five pounds, and ingredients wise, it's orange, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. So very fresh, very zingy if you like that kind of smell you'll probably like that one it wouldn't be the lush easter range if we didn't have this product so the next item is the golden egg bath bomb melt and this one is honey i wash the kids scented so it basically smells like toffee caramel honey it's very very sweet but very very sparkly if you guys don't like glitter and you don't like having glitter on your body after a bath stay well away because this one is a bath bomb melt so it's going to have the oils and the lovely butters as a bath melt but for Full of glitter so it just gets completely stuck to your skin I'm not gonna lie they're not my favorite but the smell is just so so good so it is hard for me to not want to buy one ingredients wise in this one it's orange bergamot and sweet toffee and price wise it's £5.50 then we have another bath bomb this is the eggs on legs bath bomb which is the comforter scented now again this design just isn't for me it screams like a child's kind of bath product which I absolutely love for children I think it's so wonderful that they've kind of 
of accommodated for different age ranges but I it's something that I don't particularly like the look of I love the smell of the comforter though like to me the comforter is like the mature sister of snow fairy and I absolutely love the smell this one retails for 12 pounds though which is quite expensive and it's bergamot cassis and cypress absolute and I feel like again the best way to describe it is like a black currant smell it's so delicious um but the design for me just like isn't the one next up we have the golden egg shower gel we have had this before this one is honey I wash the kids scented it's full of gold glitter but this time it doesn't necessarily sort of stick to the skin and price wise we have the 100 gram bottle for eight pounds the 250 bottle for 16 and the 500 gram bottle for 27 I will say I don't particularly love the scent option of the shower gel I love the smell don't get me wrong the shower gel is absolutely divine but I feel like we already have honey I wash the kids shower gel so like why do we need the same thing but just with glitter in it it kind of baffles me like I would have loved a new smell something really foody like posh chocolate as a shower gel lush take that make it as you will honestly I think that would be delicious so yeah I am excited about it I did really enjoy it when I used it I just feel like maybe a different scent would have been better then we have the rainbows and waterfalls soap this one is curbside violet scented I absolutely love the rainbow aspect of this one I love that all the colors kind of blend together and I do really like the look of it I'm not particularly one to rush for a bar of soap though I have so many already this one is going to be six pounds for 100 grams and it's rosewood violet violet leaf, ylang ylang and jasmine. My mum absolutely loves the smell of violet so I feel like this kind of smell and this sort of product would be really perfect for her but it's not something that I feel like I would need to go out and purchase if you know what I mean. But it is very cute, I love the look of it um, and again it is a soap for Easter so I'm very excited about that one. The next product you guys are not ready for it. I'm not ready for it. So the next item is the Sticky Dates Body Scrub. I'm gonna need that in a bucket. That is gonna be delicious, my goodness. Okay, so Sticky Dates basically smells like a really kind of matured version of Honey, I Wash the Kids. It's toffee, caramel. I feel like I'm salivating talking about it. It's just so incredibly delicious and their body scrubs recently have been so, so good. They've had a thicker texture, which has been really lovely to use, a lot more convenient, a lot easier to use as well. So I've been really enjoying those. And price-wise, so you have the 135 gram pot for 10 pounds, or you have the 290 gram pot for 20 pounds. I am very excited about that. It's like dates, vanilla, sandalwoody. It's just so good. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to get some of that 100%. Then we have the Easter Turtle Shower Jelly. Now I'm not gonna lie. Again, I don't really understand the kind of link between Easter and a turtle. I feel like that's very... They're very, very different kind of situations, if you know what I mean, so I don't really understand that. However, he is very cute. He has a very cute shell and very cute little legs and a cute little face. Price-wise, though, I'm not going to lie, this one is £14. Thoroughly too expensive. That doesn't even make sense. That's not even English. It is just highly too expensive. I don't know the size of it. It doesn't say how much it weighs or anything like that. It could be, you know, something along the size of this, which obviously if it is, definitely worth the money. But I just don't see myself wanting to buy a shower jelly for £14. I feel like that's quite a lot in my opinion. Um, in terms of fragrance though, it is apple crumble scented. So it's apple, orange and cinnamon. That sounds absolutely delicious, but I just don't know if I can justify spending £14 on a little turtle shower jelly, do you know what I mean? The next item is a return from last year and that is the Rockstar Rabbit Soap, which is creamy candy scented. We had this last year, I thoroughly enjoyed it. This one is going to be six pounds and it's vanilla and candy floss scented. I think Rockstar and creamy candy were two different smells. I might be totally off my game, but I swear they were different. Let me know down below if you guys know for sure whether they're the same or whether they're different, but I always thought they were similar but different, so I'm not too sure. But that one's really cute. I did really enjoy it, so I would recommend. And the next item again is another soap. I feel like we didn't need to have three soaps in this collection. I might be completely wrong saying that, but for me, I feel like I would have loved some other things maybe instead of, but this one is from Dusk Till Dawn Scented. It's called Fairy Realm, and it basically is like a red design with some white blobs in it. They're seven pounds for 100 grams, and it's lemon and sweet wild orange. Do I love the design? No. Will I purchase this? Probably not, but it's another different fragrance for anyone who wants something different, uh, and you guys might like the design, so that's just my opinion on that one. The next Next item is something which if you guys know me and you've watched a lot of these kinds of videos that I make you will know 
this product just isn't for me like instantly looking at it I just absolutely hate it I don't understand it I don't really feel the need to want to use it if it didn't have features and it was just a normal kind of face shape I probably would love them um, but we have a bunny sheet mask it just looks terrifying I don't understand where the ear parts would go like would it just flop onto my hair I'm just not kind of into that sort of vibe it's nine pounds it is a new product it doesn't say much in terms of the smell of it or the ingredients and I just I just don't particularly love it so I won't be purchasing one they just kind of freak me out I don't know why then we have the carrot stick lip oil so this is a returning product we had this last year and this one is going to be six pounds again I don't have notes of the ingredients or anything but it's just going to be a lip oil probably has the same fragrance as like the carrot soaps and things from past years and if you like that smell you might like this item oh my goodness lush have done it lush have made all my dreams come true the next item we have guys you are not ready we have a sticky dates body lotion can we get a round of applause I feel like Glush have really smashed it. Simply on this and the Sticky Dates scrub alone, I am obsessed. Okay, so this one is again, Dates Vanilla Sandalwood. Price-wise, you have 10 pounds for 100 grams and 20 pounds for 250 grams. I'm gonna have to buy it. I'm not even a lotion kind of gal, but like the smell of this alone, I'm gonna have to buy some because I absolutely am obsessed with that smell, so. Good job, Lush, you really smashed that one. So next up, moving on to a few of the gift sets, we have the Happy Egg gift set, which is £38, and it has Golden Egg Shower Gel, Golden Egg Bath Bomb Melt, Conga Shower Jelly, Rockstar Rabbit Soap, and Rainbow Bubble Bar. We then have Let's Be Excellent gift set, which is £11, and this is Follow the White Rabbit Bath Bomb and Cheap Cheap Bath Bomb, so quite a little kind of cute little bath bomb gift that's very nice and then we have the flower bunny gift set which is 32 pounds and this has follow the white rabbit bath bomb alien bunny bath bomb hot cross bunny bubble bar pink baby carrot reusable bubble bar and the bunny bag which is very very exciting i just think that's so adorable like i kind of want it just for the bag alone that is absolutely stunning and last but not least we have three knot wraps so the first one we have is take time to smell the flowers which is six pounds we then have the mushroom land knot wrap which is seven pounds and lastly the fresh as a daisy lock to wrap which is two pounds so that is everything for the lush easter range of 2024 i would love to know down below what are you most excited about and what are you definitely going to be purchasing for me it's going to have to be the sticky date scrub and the sticky dates lotion i'm going to have to buy those because the smell of sticky dates is just so incredible that i just cannot wait so that is what i'm going to be purchasing and i would love to know down below what you guys are going to pick up as well obviously if you haven't already subscribed please Please make sure you do I upload twice a week on this channel and it's usually lush related book related and a few little Disney ones sprinkled in every now and then and vlogs and things like that so if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do I love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next one bye guys